If you're trying to get better at Rocket League, and you've looked around for what you should be doing to improve, you've probably heard that you should do some free play training. But a lot of the time, what exactly you should be doing in that free play training isn't fully explained. So that's what this video is here for. I'm going to explain, in depth, what you should be doing in your general free play training to get the most out of it. There are two main things you can do with free play. You can use it for drills to focus on specific mechanics, or you can use it to increase your overall speed and control by just going fast and hitting the ball around. That last one is what most people mean when they say do free play, and that's what we're going to be covering. The basic idea is pretty straightforward. You want to go fast, hit the ball well, get back to the ball again as fast as you can, and hit it well again, over and over. But there is quite a bit more to it if you really want to get the most out of this training. I'm going to go over what you should be doing in stages. We'll start with the most basic version of this and work our way up. Note that you're not meant to master each part of this before you move on to the next one. You just need to be able to do them marginally well. The first thing you should do is focus on going fast and hitting the ball hard every time. Make sure that you're hitting the ball squarely with the front of your car and that you have a bit of speed or momentum behind you. Also, pay attention to the timing of your hit. This is most obvious in the form of bounce hits. You'll hit the ball much harder if you hit it right after it hits the ground and is on its way back up versus hitting it before it gets to the ground. Also, make sure you get a good feel for using boost and flips to get to and maintain supersonic while you move around the field. As you start to get the hang of hitting the ball hard repeatedly, make sure you continue to challenge yourself. Don't wait for the ball to get somewhere that you're comfortable with before you go for the hit. Intercept the ball sooner or from a different angle while still trying to hit it hard. If you're doing this properly, you should be missing or flubbing your hits frequently. This concept of pushing yourself while doing this training is monumentally important. For example, when the ball is going towards the wall or the ceiling, instead of waiting around until you know where it's going to go, just make your best guess immediately and go. Once you feel like you're doing decent with zooming around and hitting the ball hard, start hitting the ball with intent, too. Right after you hit the ball, decide how you're going to hit the ball next as quickly as you can and go for that. Try not to wait very long or get closer to the ball before making that decision. Make it right away. Also, start working in some lighter touches and shots on goal occasionally. You don't want to do this too frequently as it'll slow you down overall and kind of interrupt your flow, but periodically challenge yourself to take a difficult shot. So, you're doing well with zooming around the field and hitting the ball with control. Now it's time to start planning multiple touches in a row. This is really hard. But, it's also the piece of your free play training that's going to give you that insane control that lets you fly down the field, hitting the ball multiple times around defenders and then putting it into goal. Previously, you were planning to hit the ball to a specific spot. Now, that needs to be expanded to also include how and where you're going to hit the ball the next time. And perhaps, 
even the time after that. There are two very important things to keep in mind when doing this. The first is that the plan for your next hit needs to include where you're going to try to hit the ball to. Something like hit ball to the wall, aerial up to it. It does not count as planning your next two hits. It needs to be something like hit ball to the wall, aerial up to it, hit it to the backboard. The second is that you can't wait to see how your hit came out before going for your next hit. Trust your first hit and start going towards your pre-planned intercept point immediately and make some adjustments on the way. Here's an example of planning out multiple hits in a row. I'm going to bang this towards the wall like I'm clearing it over a challenger and then try to catch it and roll it up the wall then follow it up the wall and try and do a flip reset or ceiling shot for the goal. Let's see how it goes. I managed to nail the first two touches I had planned out, and then I just didn't quite get the touch I needed to do a flip reset into a shot but I at least managed to put the ball into the goal, which was part of that final step. So pretty good overall. As you train other mechanics, be sure to work them into this training. Putting your fancy moves to use here will ensure that you can pull them off in an actual game with no problem. One final thing to talk about is whether or not you should use unlimited boost in this training. There isn't really a clear winner here since it's a bit of a trade-off either way. Using unlimited boost lets you focus more on your control at high speeds and just chaining tons of good hits together. But it very much encourages over boosting and doesn't help you at all with boost conservation or pathing through small pads. Turning unlimited boost off helps you work on your boost management and momentum conservation. It's also more similar to an actual game. They both have their uses, so just do both. I like to start with unlimited boost on, and then a while before I'm actually going to start playing some matches, I'll turn it off so that I get a more gameplay-like experience. And that wraps this up. At this point, your free play training is going to really improve your overall speed and control and will help get you to that next level. Be sure to hit that thumbs up if you enjoyed the video and subscribe for more content like this. Thanks for watching.